This is a common complaint that we hear about utility companies working in neighborhoods, leaving damage or messes behind. Yeah, and even identifying which company's responsible, that can be challenging, much less, much less trying to get them to clean up after themselves. Investigator Amy Davis is here with some information to try to make this easier if you ever run into it. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, because we see this all over, right? In neighborhoods all over the Houston area, utility crews are working. Some are installing fiber lines or maybe upgrading infrastructure. A lot of times this work requires digging up your yard or moving heavy equipment through your property. This scene could be from any Houston area neighborhood, but this is Kingwood, where it's clear there's a lot of work going on. Small flags and spray paint marking underground lines are signs of future work to come. We found multiple utility companies working on several streets here. This is one of many. Petra Ringeisen showed us this mess she says a utility company left along these popular neighborhood trails. With the destruction of the green belts, we lose a lot of the green, we lose trees, all kinds of plants. You have the ruts. And then back there is where the box, the box is just laying on the side. There is cable. So you can't really fix that. It's going to take Mother Nature years upon years. Other neighbors sent us pictures of damaged yards, broken equipment, and reports of missing pets from gates left open. But with several companies working in this area, most using third-party contractors, the people who live here say they don't know who to hold accountable or how. And leave behind a mess like that and walk away. When we sent these pictures to Comcast, a representative told us this project, the green box with cables sticking out of it, is not yet complete, and it might be days until they get back to it. The Texas Utility Code says companies can access private land to use easements for work on things like cable lines, internet, and sewage. But there's no timeline or rule that says how long they can take to get a property back to its original condition or required communication with homeowners. Centerpoint told us when they do work in any community, they mail letters and knock on doors to let people know. Also, any subcontractors, they say, should have a sign that says they're contractors with Centerpoint. But again, there is no requirement that they do this. So some resources for possibly getting help, the Public Utility Commission's Consumer Protection Division. And if you live in the city of Houston, you can contact the utility complaint line. While both told us they do not have regulatory authority in these situations, they say they may be able to help identify which utility is doing work in your area. And on click2houston.com, we've posted the contact information for both of those agencies. And then you can also try offering a, a hamburger and some lemonade and free lunch. Say, hey guys, you mind hanging out and cleaning it up a little bit taking yeah. lots of photos and taking down names when they right. show up i mean you know all of these I things know. right oh, goodness. <laughs> well, we do your best Amy. thank you thank